Hi everybody, it's Deanne, and I just thought I would do a uh, pick a card reading for you. And I've got two cards under each one of these stones. The first one is Amethyst. And this is going to be with my Intuitive Life Coaching Oracle. Okay, that gives advice and my crystal deck. So, you have the choice of Amethyst, which is number one, deck number one. Or Rose Quartz, which is deck number two. Or a Yellow Citrine, which is deck number three. So, concentrate on your question or what it is you want to know. And pick one of these three cards. This is for advice for next week, okay? Or whenever you get this. If it's not next week, it's whenever you, when you're watching this is when it's for you, okay? So do you want number one, amethyst, number two, the pink rose quartz, or number three, the yellow, the citrine, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and start now. And for the ones of you who picked the amethyst, you got wake up call. You're about to discover your life's purpose. And I'm gonna read you that. And you also got, the gem you got is clear quartz. So we're gonna read you about wake up call and see what it has to tell you, what advice this has to tell you It says, you are about to discover your life's purpose. Your life's path is no accident. I'm going to hold the card up for you. It says, your life's path is no accident. Every experience, relationship, heartache, and hardship, hardship serves a purpose. Each one causes you to grow on a soul level and evolve into your true self. Your life's purpose is not just about what kind of work you do either. It's about who you are as a whole person. It is about how you relate to the world and how the world relates to you. It's also about the journey itself. If you are suppressing your soul's growth or journey in any way, the universe will throw you a wake-up call sooner or later. Despite what you feel at the time, you're going through this. It ultimately, it is, it is ultimately a beautiful gift, but only if you stop resisting change and let your life evolve into one of purpose and meaning. The wake-up call comes in many forms, illness, a layoff, depression, lost financial, cri lost financial crisis, divorce, any challenges that call for you to listen to your truth. Your challenges are part of the growth process, reminding you to stop living your life sleepwalking and worried about materialistic, meaningless things. Wake up and live your best life. Embrace love, deep, meaningful relationships, and what matters to you most from a soul perspective. It is time to face your challenges head on and allow the universe to move you in a new direction. And these are the intuitive life coaching questions that you need to ask yourself. What challenges are you currently facing that you might be resisting? In what way are you resisting them? Do you feel this is happening for a higher reason? If so, then what could that reason be? So this is your wake-up call right now. You're getting this because you're about to discover your life's purpose. And then for your gemstone, you got clear quartz was the card you got, which says let yourself feel all your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So that's what we got for you. So, for those of you who chose the pink crystal, you got spiritual gifts. You are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts. And, besides that, you got, the crystal you got was citrine. Huh, thought it'd be under that one, but you got citrine. So, let me read you your card. 
and tell you what your guides have to say to you. You are learning to trust and integrate your spiritual gifts in your own daily life, in your own daily life. And you can also use your spiritual gifts when working with others. Your spiritual gifts could be clairvoyance, extrasensory seeing, clairaudience, extrasensory hearing, energy healing, intuitive knowing, seeing auras, and many others. Be gentle with yourself during this process. Remember that developing your spiritual gifts does not involve thinking more, relying on your intellect. If you find yourself trying to figure things out intellectually, you could be blocking your spiritual progress. This card comes to you today to remind you that using your sixth sense is a natural ability. It is not something you have to work at. It is simply something you have to allow and trust. Trust, meditation, and patience are the key ingredients when working with the developing spiritual gifts. As you naturally allow and trust the process to unfold, more and more information will be revealed to you. Anytime you're trying too hard, you are not in the flow of receiving. But rest assured, even the most experienced people second-guess their abilities to receive divine information from time to time. If you're frustrated with your ability to develop your spiritual gifts or to use your gifts to help others, it's time to call on your higher self and ask for help with letting go of overthinking the process. Put your faith in divine knowing and timing. And the questions it has for you, how could you be blocking the flow of divine guidance when it comes to developing your spiritual gifts? What do you feel your spiritual gifts are? How would you like to use them? So you are in the process of developing and fine-tuning your spiritual gifts. And then the card you got for your crystal card, I told you you got citrine. It says, unnecessary worries. Release the burden of worries by giving them to God for healing solutions. And that probably will help with your spiritual gifts as well. Okay, so those of you who got the citrine, the third one, your card is surrender. Release and surrender all control and let nature take its course. I'll read you what that a little bit more on that card. And the gemstone you got was watermelon tourmaline. So let me go ahead and read you about surrender and see what your guides have to say to you. You have done all you can do. This situation calls for you to release and surrender control. When you are no longer trying to control things and you allow them to take their natural course, everything begins to align for your highest good. What you think you need and what is for your highest good are two different things. Be open-minded and willing to look at the bigger picture. Ask your wiser self about what is in your highest good as well as the highest good of everyone involved. Step back and let go, and you will see the circumstances begin to move of their own accord. The current situation involves the fate of many. You are not meant to control it. When you let go and ask for the highest good to unfold for everyone involved, you may be surprised what happens next. Know that spirit is in charge, and when you surrender and trust that everything will work out, everything will shift in a way that even is better than you had hoped for or could have predicted. Your questions that you need to ask yourself are, what do you need to surrender or release? Over what or whom are you exerting too much control? How are you trying to control your current situation? Why do you feel the need to control it? So think about surrender, release, and surrender all control, and let nature take its course. And then your card I told you you got for your gemstone, watermelon tourmaline, it says stress reduction. De-stress your mind, body, and schedule as you need to relax and recharge and revive. So you need to work on stress reduction. So this is what I got for you guys 
today and I hope you like this. If you want me to do some more pick a card readings, leave me a comment down there. Please do me a favor and hit the like button. Go back and hit the like button and the subscribe button um, so that you know if you want, you know, I know if you like this and want me to do some more pick a card readings. Thank you so much. You guys have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye.